So I remember what I was going to talk about with the Mustang. So this is part two. Part two of this video. So now we have a f failing company that pulls a publicity stunt just like just like the Tesla did. They, they saw what Tesla did with the Cybertruck and they realized how good of a publicity stunt that was and they solidified their market and got rid of the lukewarm. And so this is what they're doing. They're solidifying their market and they're getting rid of the lukewarm. So what they're going to do is they have this four-door Mustang, which is ridiculous, right? A four-door Mustang? What the fuck is that? It's not a Mustang. But you have a four-door Mustang, and it's a crossover, and it looks just totally ridiculous. It looks like a copied Tesla completely. But what they're doing is because they're following the market, they're, they're trying to just they're trying to keep up. Okay, they're, they're dying at the seams. They're falling. They're they're doing what they can to die slower. They're dying slower. And what you have to remember is that they don't have a network of fucking dealers because a dealer is a 20th century solution for a, the 21st century, which is not gonna work. And so you'll be out of business very shortly because of your dealers your, d your dealers raise up the price of your total product you can't compete with Tesla because Tesla doesn't have dealerships like you have Tesla doesn't pay for any of that in the, pr in the price of the vehicle you don't pay extra for a dealer you go straight from from, fact from the factory to the customer directly there's no middleman there's no middleman in the, in the middle if you don't get rid of your middleman then there's nothing you can do. You don't need to advertise. Obviously, you need to do exactly what Tesla's doing, and you need to do it very soon, because advertising is a waste of money. It's just a total waste. Look how good Tesla's doing and rapidly growing. And they don't advertise. They don't spend a single dollar for advertising, you know? They just invite people who do YouTube. That's all they do. They say, hey, why don't you come here and... uh see what we got going on you know and so they had this Ford Mustang crossover and like the hatchback and everything totally ridiculous not like a Mustang at all but what this does is makes their market solidify and so this is a publicity stunt just like Tesla did with the Cybertruck where, where you get people who really like it and people who don't like it but you really the people who really really like it are gonna buy it there's no middle zone people you don't you push people to either side you say either you're gonna like it you're really gonna buy it or you don't don't like it you're not gonna buy it so solidifying their market is what they're doing it's a publicity stunt just like Tesla did but the problem is They'll never be able to be as good because of the dealers. That's what that's what I was gonna talk about last time. Is Tesla doesn't have dealerships. There's no there's no fucking around with when you go to get a Tesla. You're not having to go through some stupid Bobby Hester's or whatever the fuck it is. Who who knows? Whatever you got in your town, people fucking dealerships, cars. It's just a rip off. And it's old. It's old model. It's old model. And you had this 20th, 20th century model in the 21st century, and that's just not gonna work. It's it's it, it's failing slowly, and everyone is dying. <laughs> there's 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 no beating Tesla. Tesla has, takes a regular fucking car and makes it fucking a. An extreme sports car that can beat your most fastest fucking tricked out internal combustion engine. And Ford sees that. Sees what they're doing. And is now making some waves. Doing exactly what Tesla, Tesla did. They're, they're learning. Maybe they're learning. Maybe they'll die slower than expected. But either way, they're going to die. They're, they're going out of business. Regardless. Because of... Well, maybe not go out of business because Tesla's very nice. Tesla's not not only gonna sell 
you know, their vehicles, they're going to sell the batteries. They're going to sell the battery, the battery facilities, the facilities to make the batteries. So automakers will have the ability to buy the much, much better technology than they could ever have and adapt it into their vehicles and put their labels on it. And so Tesla's going to be selling that and, and Tesla's going to be in control of it all and can, in control of information too Well, with, you know, SpaceX in control of more information than Google will have when we have a satellite system. Think about that for a second. When there's a satellite system launched in space where we have faster internet and no, with no latency at all and everyone is using it in the whole world they have all the information flowing over their satellites they'll have all the information of the entire world countries in Africa that have no ad adapt adaptability for the internet will not have internet connection and adaptability and so now we'll have all their information too we're gonna have the information of everyone and just by having this network and we can reuse a rocket so think about that there's nothing you know the system wants full spectrum domination well little do they know they've been losing their full spectrum domination for a long time <laughs> and you know who you're losing losing it to Elon Musk he's part of our crew <laughs> you're losing it you're losing your full spectrum domination losing it but it's part of the greater good okay the greater good of all of humanity humanity first make sure you vote for Andrew Yang he's on our team too Humanity first. So, yeah. That's it. Ford Mustang. Trying to survive. Vote for Andrew Yang. And if you're on YouTube and you're asking for money, like a bitch-ass motherfucker, you need to vote for Andrew Yang. If you live in the United States and you're on YouTube and you're asking for money from people, from Patreon, then... You need to fucking vote for Andrew Yang, cause we're not gonna take that shit, okay? Vote for Andrew Yang. If you don't and you're asking for money on YouTube, you're a piece of shit, okay? And fuck you. <laughs> but everyone else, I love you all, and I don't think I said it in the last one, so I love you twice as much. I love you more than the entire world everything but until next time I'll see you then and take it easy and enjoy your time and don't work too hard and vote for Andrew Yang most importantly more importantly than anything else write in Andrew Yang if you have to for president because fuck the system there's no gold standard their money means nothing. Forget about it. Fuck the system. Okay? The lowest 80 per, the lowest 80% class of people with the lowest amount of money, 80%, the lowest spectrum owns less than 10% of the stock market. So, fuck the stock market. Secure a cyber truck right now. 100 bucks to secure a single motor cyber truck for production in 2022. Sounds like a pretty good inflation, anti inflation investment. So, 100 bucks. Do it or be fucked. Alright, well, y'all have a wonderful day. I'll see ya. I'm about to go install some ACs. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye.